All right, so Griffith's electrodynamics, problem 2.41. Um, we have two large metal plates, each of area big A, held a small distance D apart. We're going to put a charge of big Q on each plate. What is the electrostatic pressure on the plates? So, um, uh, basically, if we have, I'm just going to draw these two plates as a, couple of lines like this um, and there's a charge of big Q on each one uh, the electric field will come out in each direction with a strength of Sigma over 2 epsilon naught So from this plate, all right, and sigma equals big Q over big A. All right, to put it in terms of what, what's given to us in the problem. All right, um, so we have that coming from this plate, and we have this also coming from this plate. Sigma over 2 epsilon naught. Sigma over 2 epsilon naught. All right. So I'm going to divide this into, we'll have three different regions. Um, I'll just put them in circles, 1, 2, and 3. OK, so the thing uh, to realize here is that uh, when we add up this electric field, it will, um, we're going to add up the electric field in each of these areas, right? So this one's going to cancel out. We have the same amount going this way and this way. But we also have you know, this field is going to keep, it, it will also add to the field out here. I, I should have defined something so I'm not writing this thing over to epsilon not every time, right? So this field will also add into what's here in region 3. And this field also over here. OK. All right, so when we add up the field in these three different regions, in uh, region 1, uh, these two halves will give us sigma over epsilon naught. All right. So the magnitude of the E field, 2, uh, the magnitude of the E field is equal to 0, because these two are going in different directions, and it cancels out. 3, we have the same thing as before, only this time. Going in the other direction, but we're, we're just looking at magnitude here. So, all right, <coughs> now we look at the... Pressure. Okay. Um, so if we look at equation 2.52, I'll write it out here, which is pressure epsilon naught over 2 e squared. All right. So the, um, the pressure from the inside, there's, there's no magnitude of E there, right? So we get zero. But on the outside, each plate has one side where there is an electric field, and its strength is sigma over epsilon naught. All right, so the pressure epsilon naught over two We'll have a sigma over epsilon naught, and then squared. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify this and put it back into the the uh, uh, the variables given to us in the problem. So um, we have uh, 
So one of these epsilon naughts is going to go away. And then uh, we have a Q over A. That's what sigma was, squared. Alright. So that's about it. Right? And of course, which direction are we uh, looking in? Well, if these two um, plates have the same charge, then of course they're going to be repelled. So yeah, if the if the electric field were continuous, like if it weren't zero in here and this sigma over epsilon naught out here, then we would get a, a force that would be, or a pressure, I guess, force per unit area of two times um, what what we what we actually get. But because there's zero electric field here, and then this electric field out here, um, just like Griffith says, you, you take the average of the field inside and the field outside. Um, so we have this factor of two here.